I do not own the rights to this music. Hello, and welcome to Sunday School Summary with Brother Ron. Sunday School lesson for Sunday, October 17th, 2021. Our reference material for the Sunday School Summary is based upon the International Sunday School Lesson series as published by the Sunday School Publishing Board. We are discussing Celebrating God as the title of the Fall Lesson series, and this series is categorized into three units or groups of lessons. In Unit 1, we talked about God's people offer praise, and in Unit 2, we're talking about call to praise God, and in Unit 3, we'll talk about visions of praise. The Call to Praise God series documents and explores the Psalms calling God's people to celebrate what God has done. The Psalms speak of making a joyful noise to praise God from this lesson on Sunday, October 3rd. Praise God for his justice and righteousness from the Sunday School lesson on October 10th, 2021. And today we're going to talk about, in our third lesson in the Unit 2 uh, Fall Lesson Series, I Shall Be Released, and that's from Psalm 107, verse 6. And that verse reads as follows. They cried unto the Lord in their troubles, and he delivered them out of their distress. So when we cry to the Lord, he will deliver us from our distress. Now, the title of today's lesson, I Shall Be Redeemed, the background to today's lesson is Psalm 107. And Psalm 107 is a hymn commemorating the power of God. In spite of the transgressions of the Israelites, the Lord forgives them. The psalm is also a hymn of thanksgiving to the Lord for the purpose of making the Lord's works known to humankind so that they too can join in the praise of the Lord. There are three summary lesson points for today. Thank God for his deliverance from Psalm 107 verses 1 through 6. Thank God for his feeling from Psalm 107 verses 7 through 9. And thank God for his love from Psalm 107 verses 39 through 43. The passages for the lesson today revolve around the key words of faith, Praise, deliver, redeemed, and distress. Now, faith we talked about as complete trust, assurance, belief, or confidence. And in our case, we have faith in God or faith in Jesus Christ. Now, praise is the respect or gratitude towards God as an act of worship, as we give praise to God. Deliver something positive that's being moved, fulfilled, rescued, or carried out. And in today's lesson, we're talking about delivery from our enemies and delivery from sin. Redeemed is to free from distress or harm, such as to release from blame or debt, or in our case today, to free from the consequences of sins or our actions or our inactions towards God. And distress is extreme anxiety, sorrow, or pain. It's a feeling or condition of being stressed out and tired, 
because of worry. So when we are distressed, we should take it to the Lord in prayer or cry out as the Israelites does in today's lesson. Now, thank God for his, lesson, for his deliverance, our first summary point from Psalms 107, verses 1 through 6. And in these passages of the psalm, in these verses, the psalmist references the deliverance of the children of Israel as reasons to praise God. The writer addresses or speaks to the redeemed, those who have been saved by God. Now, the writer commands the redeemed to give thanks to the Lord or to remember to thank the Lord, to remember the goodness of the Lord and how his love endures forever. Reminds the redeemed that they truly have something to praise God for and to testify or tell their story of God's goodness. They should testify how they cried out to the Lord in their trouble and how God delivered them from their distress. They should testify how God redeemed them from the hand of the foe. And they should testify how God gathered the wandering children of Israel from all directions, from east and west and north and south, and how some had wandered in the desert wastelands how they found no way to cities where they could settle, how they were hungry and thirsty, and how their lives were slipping away. We should boldly proclaim to others about God's work or deliverance in our lives as a personal testimony to encourage and draw others to Christ and build them up in the faith. Too often, as Christians, we want to remind others of the weaknesses or failures in their life as opposed to telling them about how God has transformed the weaknesses and failures in our life and that should give them hope. Thanks God for his filling is a second summary point from Psalms 107 verses 7 through 9 and in these passages the writer of Psalms reminds the people of God's love and wonderful deeds in filling the needs of the people and the need to thank God for his guidance in leading the children of Israel out of the wilderness. He led the children as evidence of God's love. The psalmist reminds us that the Lord rescued the children of Israel in the wilderness. He led the children of Israel by a straight way to a city where they could settle. He satisfied the thirst and the hungry with good things. And it's a reminder that God's people have enough to drink and he fills the hungry people with good things. We should give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. In summary, based upon our faith, we should rely on and depend on the Lord to lead us out of the wilderness of our life to deliverance and to fulfill and satisfy our needs and not rely on our own understanding. Because as we saw with the children of Israel, they wandered based upon their own understanding, but God led them out of the wilderness. The third and final summary point of the lesson is thank God for his love. And that's from Psalm 107, verse 39 through 43. And in these passages, the writer notes or points out how God loves and protects his people, how he brings tribulation to the oppressors by decreasing their numbers, and how he is not a respecter of nobility or royalty. He treats them as if they were a common people. The psalmist further reminds them that how the numbers of the oppressors decreased and they were humbled by oppression, calamity, and sorrow. How God poured contempt on nobles and made them wander in a trackless waste. How he lifted the needy out of their afflictions and increased their families like flocks. 
how the upright see and rejoice at God's goodness, but all the wicked shut their mouths and remain silent. Now, the psalmist reminds us that God's love comes with a warning that let the one who is wise heed these things and ponder or think about the loving deeds of the Lord. So when we think about God's goodness and God's mercy, it should inspire gratitude and thanksgiving and praise for his enduring love for us. Those are the summary lesson points for Sunday, October 7th, 2021. Thank God for his deliverance. Psalm 107 verses 1 through 6. Thank God for his filling. Psalm 107 verses 7 through 9. And thank God for his love. Psalm 107 verses 39 through 43. Thank you. This is Brother Ron with a Sunday School Summary for Sunday, October 17th, 2021. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed week. And we hope to see you next Sunday for another edition of Sunday School Summary with Brother Ron.